Yo, what is going on today, YouTube? I have a video here to show you how to outline or highlight any person, any object, or anything you really want to. And I watched a couple videos on it, but none of them were too helpful. So I'm making this one to hopefully help someone out. And if I can just help one person out, that's all that matters to me, guys. So the very first thing you're going to want to go to is the Quick Selection tool. And any of these tools, you can find out the name by just sticking your mouse over it for just a couple seconds and it will pop up. So, quick selection tool. If you've ever used it before, you know about the circle. You have the left bracket to make the circle go smaller and the right one to make it go bigger. Now, obviously, for her body, it's not too big, so I'm going to go with about a medium size. And the smaller one will work for finer details like, you know, the top parts of her hair, maybe the fingers, you know, whatever. Whatever you're doing. So let's go jump into this, guys. You want to, the circle to be completely inside the body. So as close to the edge of the body, you know, the edge of every piece of her body as you can. But, you know, do not go outside of her body. If you do, we can always fix that with the minus. This is the plus. Now, the minus will stay outside of the body and not go inside it, but as close to the edge as possible. And the plus will be on the inside and go as close to the edge as possible. So right now we're on the plus, which is default, or it should be. And if it's not, you just come up here, guys, top left corner, and click the middle one with the plus. See the plus and the minus? So, you know, you're clicking where you can. Close to the edges, guys. And, you know, you will mess up. I mean, unless you're like a pro. I mean, I'm no pro. <laughs> I messed up still. See, I messed up right there, guys. I'll fix it, though, for you. I mean, it's a good... It'll show you how to fix it if you needed help with that. Alright, gotta be careful with this knee. Oh, I still went outside a little bit. But that's because our shirt kind of goes outside, so that's not really a big deal. Now, I've been having some trouble highlighting these boots, so we're not going to worry about them right now. See how I got the basic parts of her body highlighted right now, guys? So, now that we got that, we're going to want to go to the minus and fix this because I screwed it up. So you want to go want to go to as close to the body as you can, like to her arm. See how I did here? And you just kind of click. And see how I kind of fixed it for you. Uh, you know, before it had that big bulge, now it's kind of fixed. And in general, this looks kind of good. I mean, obviously, it's not like a pro design. I'll try to fix this leg part for you. And I screwed up. So if you screw up, I mean, you just hit step backward. So I might want to actually go smaller, so I'm going to hit the left bracket to go smaller. I'm trying to highlight just the black part. Undo quick selection. All right. So it appears it, I mean, it just won't work with me. So you're going to have to hit the minus to fix this. And just kind of minus it in. So we're pretty much just getting, you know, as close to the shoes and the body as possible. So we'll work with this, guys. So you're going to want to hit Control J. And when you hit Control J, that makes a new layer if you did not know. Now you can always Google the controls and find out everything. But Control J makes a new layer. And once you're on this new layer, you're going to want to right click and hit Blending Options. And once you click Blending Options, go to Stroke. And see, it still has these lines right here at the bottom where I screwed up and I didn't, you know, get her feet right and whatnot. And honestly, it just depends on the picture sometimes. Sometimes it's going to be a hassle to mess with. But you just got to, you know, mess with it, work what's best with you. Obviously, I didn't close it off too good or these lines wouldn't be running out. But yeah, once you click stroke, you're going to want to right click stroke. And change this default 30, or it should be a 3 on yours, or whatever it is. Change it to about a 10. Uh, you know, it thickens it up a little bit, makes it a little better looking. Now you can try an 8 or a 12, just depends on what you want. I mean, if you want a 50, I mean, it's on you, you know, whatever you want. Like, here's a 30. <laughs> if you want a 100, I mean, that's a 100. I mean, honestly, it depends on what your preference. Now, I like 10, looks pretty good. And uh, you're going to want to change the color. Uh, white, yellow, red are all colors that bigger YouTubers use to really make things stand out. You know, you always wonder, uh, like, oh, how'd they do that? Oh, how'd they highlight them? Well, now you're figuring it out, guys. 
So here's yellow. It's a typical color. I, I want a better looking yellow. Or th this ain't even a better looking yellow, but we're going to roll with this guy. So notice how it's highlighted her body and everything around there, except for this part where I screwed up. But, I mean, obviously you're not going to have the same picture <laughs> as me. So I ain't even going to bother fixing it. But now you can mess with it in any way you want, guys. Uh, like the opacity, you can change it, make it look vaguely there. See how it's kind of like highlighting above her. But, you know, you can make it just all the way straight up like that. Uh, now, if you want to, like, mess with the inside of it, you can, like, uh, put this in here. But, I mean, it's kind of stupid looking. <laughs> so I don't really mess with that. Uh, you can add, like, outer glows, uh, drop shadows I've never even really messed with. But, I mean, why not, you know? Uh, I don't think it affects anything too much here. Yeah, it's kind of irrelevant here, but yeah, you can mess with anything you really want, guys. Uh, like contour, and once you once you got whatever you want, guys. Uh, say this is what I want. Say, oh, this is beautiful. I gotta roll with this one. If you want to mess with the background a little bit, uh, go back to your original layer and just hit filter and like say blur. Blur is a popular, uh, you know, radial blur in general is pretty popular. So you click radial blur, uh, zoom, and OK. And see how it just kind of messes with the background and makes her more of the focus. And with that highlight there, it makes her even more of a focus. Now remember, you can change it from 10, 8, 3, 2, whatever you want. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much how you highlight or outline someone. I hope this helps you out. And if it does, leave a like. Let's try to hit 10 to 15 likes on this video. And if you got any questions or need help with something else, just drop me a comment. I'm here. I got notifications on my phone. So I'll try to comment back to you as soon as possible. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next video.